Welcome to AWS Solution Architect Associate. So in today's module, we'll be going through this module 13 Challenge Lab, which is implementing serverless architecture in the cafe. Let me just close this terminal. And here are the lab overview and the objective. So in this lab, we'll be able to use AWS Lambda to create cafe sales report that is email each day through Amazon SNS. After completing this lab, we should be able to implement a serverless architecture to generate daily sales report in the future. A Lambda function within a virtual private network that connects to the Amazon Relation Database, database with the cafe's sales data. A Lambda function that generates and runs the sales report, a scheduled event that triggers the sales report Lambda function each day. So when we start our lab, so our architecture would look something like this. So we'll have a VPC and we have in multiple available zones and we have one public subnet and we have one EC2 instance in that public subnet. And then we have private subnet one, private subnet two, and then we have DB subnet group in this private subnet three and four. And then also we have the primary DB instance associated to this DB subnet group. So at the end of this lab, our architecture would look something like this. So we'll have a sales analysis report data extractor, Lambda, which will read and trigger the database and then it will trigger the sales anal analysis report data extractor. And based on that, we will create a report and using this Lambda, we will send an email notification, right? So let's start with task one. So to start with task one, the code for generating the report is already written, packaged and ready for you to deploy your AWS Lambda. So let's download this part of the files save and let's save okay so let's open the show so let's open the multiple choice questions so i've extracted the file i've also gone through the file let's go and answer this question why does the sales analytic report data extractor zip file have a package folder so the sales analysis report data extractor zip file has a package folder because the folder contains a python package that are used by the lambda function We'll see this later while we upload that in the S3 bucket. So let's submit that and let's continue. So task two, creating the data extractor lambda function in the VPC. So in this task, we will create a data extractor lambda function that extracts the cafe sales data from an Amazon RDS database. So the lambda function can access the RDS database instance. We must update the database security group and rule to allow the connection of lambda function. To enable this communication, we should create a security group for the lambda function and add it as an inbound rule to the security group to the RDS instance. Okay, so let's create a security group for the lambda function. So let's open AWS. And let's go to EC2. And let's go to security groups. So we need to create a security group and let's say Lambda SG. And then the VPC should be Lab VPC. Lab VPC. And we, have sh we should have this outbound rule to all traffic from all the destination. Okay. Let's create the security group. Also, we need to have the Lambda SG. So let's create the security group. So we have this security group created. So let's continue. So now we need to update the database security group. Let's add a second inbound rule. Let's go to database SG and let's go to inbound rule. Let's edit inbound rule. So here we already have one entry. So we need to add another rule. So it should be MySQL Aurora and it will be SG Lambda SG. Let's save rule. So we have done this. Let's go to point number 11. So we need to create a Lambda function. Let's copy this. So let's go to Lambda. Let's create a new Lambda. Let's create a function. Let's say this is the name. And we need to choose Python 3.8. Let's choose Python 3.8. And then we need to have a role sales analysis. Report the role. So for that, we need to go to this. Use an existing role. And let's say we should choose this role. Okay, so we need to create this in the VPC. So let's go to advanced setting. Let's enable the VPC. And let's choose the lab VPC. Lab VPC. And here I think we need to choose subnet. So in the subnets, we need to choose private subnet 1 and private subnet 2. Let's go and choose private subnet 1 and private subnet 2. Private subnet 1, private subnet 2. And then we have used the Lambda security group. So let's choose the Lambda security group. So this is the Lambda security group. And let's create. So it says that since we are deploying this Lambda function to a VPC, it will take some time to be created. So after waiting for a while, so this is successfully created. So let's configure this. So in order to configure, we need to say, we need to upload the zip file. 
so it should be sales analysis report data extractor.zip let's upload this from zip let's upload so this should be the zip file let's save so this is the file and this is the package which i talked about for this first quiz so we need this to run the Python script. Okay, so let's change the description. So let's go to configuration. Let's go to edit and let's add the description. And then we need to change the memory size to 128 MB and the timeout to be 30 seconds. So the timeout should be 30 seconds. And let's save this. And then we also need to change the handler. Let's copy this. And then let's go to code and let's go to edit and we'll change the handler so let's save so we have successfully configured the sales analysis report data extractor lambda so let's go and create another lambda creating a sales analysis report lambda function so let's copy this let's go to function let's go to create function let's create a function We'll be choosing Python 3.8. And then the role should be sales analysis role. So let's go to change default execution role. Use existing role. Let's choose this. And let's create the function. So this function will be created immediately because we are not using the VPC network and all. So let's configure this lambda as well. So let's upload sales analysis report. So let's upload from zip let's upload let's choose the second zip let's open and let's save so here we have this single script so it basically sends a notification okay so let's configure this as well so the description should be this one let's go to the description configuration and edit configuration description so the timer should be 30 seconds as well and let's save and we need to change the handler as well let's copy this and let's go to code and let's go to edit and let's change the handler and let's save So with this uh, we have successfully created two lambda functions and we have successfully configured them let's move ahead so now let's create an sns topic so the sales analysis report use an sns topic to send the report to email subscriber so in this task we will create an sns topic and update the environment variable or sales analysis report lambda function to store the topic okay so let's create a standard sns topic with the following configuration so to do that let's go to sns sorry it should be sns simple notification service so let's choose this name sales report topic let's go to next and then it should be standard so let's head the display name display name I think we can just go ahead and create a topic so now we've created a topic so update the sales analysis report lambda function okay so we need to go back to the lambda let's say lambda let's open this in the new tab and then we need to update the sales analysis report lambda let's go to sales analysis report lambda okay so here we need to add the following environment variable variable name should be topic arn so let's go to so let's go to configuration it should be the environment variable let's edit let's add it should be this one and then we need to copy the arn from the sns topic okay so this is the arn so let's go and add here and let's save okay so this sales analysis report will send the report using this tree, uh, lambda function, right? 
So let's jump to the browser tab and let's answer the question. Okay. So why must the sales analysis report data extractor be in the VPC? It should be in the VPC so that it can connect, communicate with the RDS instance. Should the topic ARN be stored as a AWS system manager parameters instead of an environment variable? Yes, it can be. Okay, so let's continue. So in task five, let's create an email subscription to the SNS topic. To receive the sales report through email, we must create an email subscription to the topic that you created in the previous task. So let's create a new email subscription topic. So to do that, let's go to topics and we need to create a subscription. So let's create a subscription. So a topic should be the topic which we just created. And since we're using email, so let's choose email. So that the protocol should be email. And here I need to have the email to test. So I'll say IAM at the rate Pratap Sharma dot IO. Okay. So let's create the subscription. So I should receive an email. So let me open my email. So we have this email. So let's say confirm subscription and subscription confirm successful, right? So if I refresh this, we should say we should not see it pending anymore. Let's refresh. It's confirmed. Okay. So now it's time to test the test the sales analysis report. So before creating the daily report event, you must test the sales analysis report. Lambda function works correctly. So we need to create a test for the sales analysis report lambda function. So let's go to the lambda function and let's say test. And here we can just test it. So the lambda function executed successfully. So here are the details. And with this, I think we should also receive an email. So let's check the email. Uh, we get the report. Amazing, right? So if the lambda ex function test execution failed, we can use the logs to review any order, address them, and run the test again. So here are some of the troubleshooting steps that you can try. We can review the logs from Amazon CloudWatch logs or both the lambdas. So if we see any error about connecting connecting to the cafe database, we need to check our security group. And if we see timeout, let's check and let's set the timeout set to 30 seconds. And if we see any error related to lambda not found, then we should see if the lambda is configured successfully. Okay. So task seven, we can go and create an event bridge to send a cron job. So let's go to event bridge. So let's create a rule. So the rule should be learn with the top. We we'll say report. Even bus will be default. It will be of schedule. Okay. So let's continue with the event scheduler. So it will be a recurring schedule. So it will be a based on cron schedule. So here, if you want to run this code daily, like you can use cron. So here you can test your code, okay? If you are in doubt of how to set the cron job, you can set here. Like let's say, if I want to set for every every minute, then I can say here star. So if I say star by two, so it will run in every second minute. To test this, let's run in every second minute. So it's very easy. So you can say star by two i can say star or we can say star we can say star and then we can say star so this will run in every two seconds so let's say off let's say next let's invoke the aws lambda and let's choose the sales analysis report and let's say next i think here we can use the existing role so let's do sales analysis report role Let's go to next and let's create a schedule. So unfortunately, my account doesn't have the permission to create the schedule action. But with this, like we can confirm that if you're able, if you have the access, you should be able to see the report in every two minutes. 
but for now since i don't have the access there so let's submit this task and we can see the grades so we scored 30 out of 35 so we missed the five because of the daily event exist okay because of that but it's okay with this we can say that we have completed our lab let's close the grade and that's for the four minutes okay so i hope i'm able to help you out with this challenge lab and i hope you you are also able to solve this challenge lab so let's continue and let's meet in the future video